You could say the Danes, Norwegian, and please remember, Danes, Denmark, and Norway, and Perth, at least till 1840. This most represents the colonial experience starting from, you could say, in Europe, growing up this perspective. And then we have a new initiative, and that is by shifting the point, and that's the last of the columns, by shifting the point view around and activating material culture, these goods I talked about, as a prominent approach in the analysis, this last column turns the interest back to Denmark and Norway and consists of a proposed research center offering a new paradigm, hopefully at least, but at least offering new possibilities on the understanding of this European, in case, Danish region, colonial experience. And therefore also, as I started, the background of the modern consumer society. And this is on the right heading, but has indeed no money at all until now. But the ideas are many. And uh, I think I'll just quick uh, make a, a presentation of them as well. Focusing on trade, focusing on, on influences back home to Denmark Norway, is focusing on transfers in different ways. And this has to be covered in many ways. You cannot just say we can deal with what we could, but it's not what we want to do. Uh, first of all, there is, of course, a research uh, thread in it covering the physical and administrative uh, history, uh, and then presenting some projects in that. For instance, uh, naval administration in Denmark is closely tied to uh, the colonial experience, but also customs administration, etc. The way it is built up is closely tied to the colonial experience. Customs also means consumption, so therefore there is this main part of it dealing with the colonial consumption. We all know the stories of coffee, tea, sugar, uh, silk, uh, spice, etc. coming to uh, Europe, and we mostly know it from the perspective of the elite cultures. Uh, but this, the aim of these projects is also to broaden it out into all kinds of social groups. As I said, uh, the colonial experience also influenced European uh, philosophical thought. I have a heading called World Use. It's not only that the world became both smaller and larger uh, after uh, the mid 15th century, uh, but also that the ideas pouring in started to influence European traditional thought. Then there's something which I myself is very much in love with, which I call intercolonial relations, and it is this unique uh, experience of uh, Denmark Norway having colonies both in the Arctic and in the tropics. It is only the biggest of the colonial regions at all in the British, which has the same experience. But here we are on a very different scale. But it is striking that there are similarities in the way it is uh, done, all the personnel in, uh, in, uh, in the belief systems, etc though there are, of course, also differences. That could be very interesting to try to look into. And there are inter-European relations. Uh, Dr. Tyson just mentioned that Denmark also used its colonies to be part of the, what we would call the European concert uh, to lift itself up to be what was called our uh, second rank, uh, just below Spain, France, and Britain. Uh, not really. And then, uh, uh, Finishing that the existing initiatives which I mentioned, and please note also these existing initiatives also build of course on initiatives which are older, colonies have always been a part of the uh, National Museum's curriculum, that they would be affiliated in case we really get the money for this uh, urban transfer uh, idea. And then at last, the eclipse of it all is planned to be a grand scale exhibition in 2017. So I put a red ring around that. The centenary for the sale of the Virgin Islands, yes. Uh, <coughs> a, a, a grand scale exhibition dealing not only with uh, the Virgin Islands, but exactly dealing with Denmark, Norway, and its colonies in broad scale, indeed on uh, colonial connections. Um, as such. Right now it carries exactly the, the title of Southern World, but perhaps it is going to be called something 
else, but at least that it is also uh, a dissemination of all these projects, whether they will come through or not, whether they will get money or not, at least the exhibition will be a fairly sure will, uh, will uh, come to line. Uh, then it is a question of how much new research we can build up and how much of existing research we will build up. Nevertheless, the grand scale exhibition should be, if any, should show the two first things are these days. Thank you. Thank you. 